Hi everyone, it's Niall from AmstradNoob.com and today we're going to take a look at the Amstrad CPC 472, which is a special Amstrad only made available in Spain for a very limited period of time. But before we take a look at the 472s, I want to point you to this blog post I wrote on amstradnoob.com, and it's called A Closer Look at the Amstrad CPC 472 Timeline. In there, I provide information about why this uh, 472 even exists, the different type of Amstrad 464s that were sold in Spain, um, there was four different types, uh, two of which were branded CPC 472, one with the British keyboard, one with the Spanish keyboard, and different versions of basic ROMs. Um, show some photos of the inside, but I also include this timeline. So what I did was I went to the Amstrad Wiki, um, which is a great source of information about anything Amstrad, and in there, there was a timeline of basically all the Amstrad models, except it didn't include Amstrad CPC 472. So what I did was I edited the uh, timeline and I added this line here for the 472. And I color coded it with this sort of pinkish look. Um, and basically what this means is that roughly around September 1985, uh, the Amstrad CPC 472 was shipping up until uh, the end of December 1985. So September, October, November, December, four months uh, shipping in one country, Spain. Uh, so it, if you do happen to see uh, an Amstrad 472, I would advise you to snap it up because they are rare. I think they're rarer than the uh, Amstrad CPC 664 and probably little known about. Um, if you want to get yourselves uh, one of these, you can head over to a website called uh, Wallapop. Wallapop. And if you go to the Spanish version of it and on that Spanish version, and search for Amstrad CPC 472. And you will see that there is actually uh, CPC 472s for sale, like this one, and this one, and this one, and so on and so on. So this is how you can get your hands on a 472. The only downside to this is that um, the Wallapop um, site uh, only basically wants to ship to Spain or Italy, right? So the way of getting around that is to do like I did, uh, get in touch with a very nice person in Spain and ask them to be the intermediary uh, to help you with the purchase. So they'll do the purchase and then they'll forward it on to you but there's not too many people in Spain that will do that for you. So you have to know someone in the Amstrad community and ask them very, very, very nicely to help you with that. I do have two very nice uh, contacts who I owe a great deal of thanks to. One is, of course, Noel from Noel's Retro Lab, and the other is Pablo Forchen. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Uh, both of those guys helped me out with uh, my search for a Amstrad 472 because I wanted to get the different versions, right? So 
that was a brief int introduction to the blog post and where you can get the 472. Let's go and actually take a look at them. This 472 is the British keyboard version. So all these keys here are in English. It's a British keyboard layout. It's pretty much identical to an Amstrad 464 except for the label. So the label says 72K Ordenador Personal and Color. That's in Spanish. And it says CPC 472. And also over here, there is some decal on the tape deck and it is also in Spanish. But apart from that, this is essentially an Amstrad 464 with a different label on it. Now, on the inside, there is the additional 8K RAM, which isn't used, which is why they were allowed to sell it as this 72K computer. This particular model of 472 was the first one that was released with the British keyboard and BASIC 1.1, as you can see there on the GT65 monitor. So it says BASIC 1.1, and that is the same version of ROM that was in the CPC 664. So you can see it says V2 up here. 1984 V2 uh, for the 664. So it's the 664 basic ROM inside this 472. So that's the first 472 that was released. Then we have this one, which is the second Amstrad CPC 472 that was released. And this one is different in that it, it goes back to the original Amstrad 464 ROM, so it says BASIC 1.0. It does have an S1 instead of a V1, and that is because it's using a Spanish version of the ROM. And the keyboard is, is in Spanish. So it's got words here. The shift key, for example, says MICE. Fia mice, I'm probably pronouncing this totally wrong. Mice again, an intro for the enter key, and then the very special Spanish key, which is the Enya key right there. And interestingly, if you press the Enya key, you could see it there on the screen, but if I press enter, it doesn't even say syntax error, which it would for the normal end key. It's just a weird oddity. I thought it was strange pressing Enya and return or enter does not give a syntax error. So this is also a 472. Uh, it's Spanish here on the label and there is copia that's also in Spanish. The decals on the tape deck are also in Spanish. So two 472s side by side, one running basic 1.0, that's the second uh, version of the 472 and the first version was running BASIC 1.1 with the English keyboard. So that's the outside of these 472s. Let's take a look at the inside next. So I've opened up both of the 472s and here we're looking at the British keyboard, original first version 472 that was released. And if we take a closer look at the motherboard, you can see the the um, the 8K hack basically uh, soldered onto the motherboard. So there's the extra 8K, which brings it up to 72K, and the 4022 chip is the basic 1.1 used in the CPC 664 and the Amstrad 472 we have right here, or rather the first version of the 472. So what else can we see that's interesting here? If you look at the part number on, on this motherboard, uh, not that part number, but this, this model number, I guess, MC0002C. Remember that, right? So that's the British keyboard 472. Uh, close look at that and let's look now at the uh, Spanish 472, the Spanish keyboard 472. 
So here we have the keys in Spanish with the Enya key, of course. And this one shipped after the first 472. So a new Spanish law came in saying we need to have keyboards in Spanish. So this one shipped after the original 472. And you can see that by looking here at that part number, or not the part number, the model number. And as you can see, it's NC002D. D comes after C, so there we have proof. And if we look here, we can see that this one has the 40037 ROM. And that is the Spanish Basic 1.0 ROM used in Amstrad 464 and 472s uh, in Spain, basically. So there's the main differences between the Spanish CPC 472 and the British version of the 472, which was also only sold in Spain. Okay, so if I put on my reading glasses, I can just about make it out there. Serial number 247129, I think. And then underneath that, it says K31-5X. Now, the 5 means it was made in 1985, and the X means it was made in October. So this is the Spanish keyboard version, so it was made in 1985 in October, right? Now, if we look at the uh, English keyboard version, which is the original 472, so to speak, and this one is also 5X, so it was the same month. Um, and as you can see, uh, also made in the Korean factory number 31, and there's the 5 for 1985 and X for uh, October. So both this one and the Spanish one were made in the same month. And that just shows you that this one, I think, is rarer than, funnily enough, than this 472. And why do I say that? Because this 472 model was only shipping between uh, um, October, I guess, and December, right? So if this one was already shipping in October, which we know because that's the date stamp, then that would mean that the Spanish version of the 472 was shipping from October, uh, November, and December, three months, which means that this one would have only shipped between September and October. So this one's rarer. I just thought that was interesting. Anyway, that's a closer look at the Amstrad CPC 472. I hope you guys got some interesting facts from this and also are interested in getting yourselves one because they're rare, they're nice. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Thank you. See you in the next one.